There are several results concerning the population variance and this one here is one of the most popular. For a random variable x and x might be continuous or x might be discrete with population mean mu and population variance sigma squared then the variance of x can be written as the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared and that is known as the shortcut formula for computing the population variance. The reason it's known as the shortcut formula is sometimes this is easier to compute than the definition of the variance of x for many distributions. Here is a proof of this result. It is only three steps and those three steps apply the same regardless of whether x happens to be discrete or x happens to be continuous. We'll start with the left hand side here and that is the variance of x and by definition the variance of x is the expected value of x minus mu squared. That can also be written as sigma squared. Now when that is squared out you will get the expected value of x squared minus 2 mu x plus mu squared. So simply the quantity inside of the expected value is squared out. That step is true simply by using a little bit of algebra. Now the next step uses the fact that the expected value operator is linear and you can basically take this expected value and go across to each of these three pieces. So you'll have the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of 2 mu x plus the expected value of mu squared. Now the expected value of x squared you can't do anything with that piece but on 2 mu x it turns out this 2 mu is a constant and you know that constants can get pulled out front of the expected value operator so you get 2 mu multiplied by the expected value of x. Finally this last piece is the expected value of mu squared but mu squared is just a constant and since the expected value of a constant is a constant this just becomes mu squared. The last step is true because mu is the same as the expected value of x. So this expected value of x right here is mu. So this is minus 2 mu squared plus 1 mu squared. And when you have negative 2 mu squared plus mu squared, that's the same as minus mu squared. And that proves the result because you are assuming that all expectations exist because the mean and the variance exist. The assumption here is the population mean mu and the population variance sigma squared exists so all of these moments will exist as well.